If you're looking for the cheapest coins in Madden 23, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable. And make sure to use code WOLF for 3% off. Link is in the description. Now, before we start today's video, I just got a question for you guys. How many of you are going to try out the Maximum Sports when it drops? They're going to drop it on PC first, the Maximum Football game. And then later, they're going to release it to the consoles. Now, if you want me to make videos on that, I will, but I need the feedback. If you think it's going to be one of those uh, play for a couple of days and come back to Madden, let me know, man. I will try it myself and I will be honest. I'll, you know what? Matter of fact, I will play it and I'll do an honest review of what I think of the game when it drops on PC and I'll drop gameplay. I'll drop whatever I, you know, find whatever I see and I will compare it to Madden and how it differs. So I will go in the lab on that game for you guys. Now there is no licensing behind that game. So, or official license from the NFL. So you can't, you're not going to see like the real players. You can probably create your own team, your own players. You know what I mean? And they want to work up to 11 v 11. So if the game's good because using Unreal Engine 5, we may have to consider it, man. You know what I mean? Think about it. You guys might want to be able to join me. Which, by the way, the Stack Y Flex is going to be the next full scheme breakdown that drops right after this video. The next video that comes out is going to be in the members area. It is going to be the Stack Y Flex full scheme breakdown. Then we're going to do the 4 3 even 6 1. Then we're going to get into the members only live streams where we go in and we lab. We lab plays, defenses, stuff that you're having trouble with. I can show you guys live how to fix it. So stay tuned for that. All right. If you want to be a part of that, become a member. Get the full scheme breakdowns. We have the ebooks in the members area. All right, Z Close Saints offensive playbook run play that's been working really well for me, uh, and it's been working well since last year. It's the two six zero two six duo from the iForm Z Close. Now, as far as your audibles, we got two six duo. We have ISO. You can change this one if you want for inside zone. However, you want to do it. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna do that. I, I actually like inside zone better. So we have duo, which kind of resembles power inside zone, and we have stretch. Okay, we're gonna come out in the two six duo. We have the cross play, which is good. We come out red in the play. Now on the left hash. Now, one thing about when you're running these plays, you pay attention to the defense, man. It's gonna tell you a lot of information. You'll see that the box is not really stacked to the left. You know, we have, we have uh, what do you call it? A shot going left. However, you don't have that many blockers. So it's kind of like evens out. Now, one of the plays that was uh, nerfed, and we're gonna try it right here, is the stretch going to the wide side of the field. I always told you guys to go to the left side of the field. However, in this formation, you may or may not get away with it. And sometimes you can bust for a touchdown, son. Uh, what you can also do is flip the play to the left, try to bring someone across from right to left and go to the short side of the field. That way you don't have to suffer some of those uh, penalties as far as the nerf goes to the stretch. You can just come over here. And like I said, man, if I had better run game, I know some of you guys do you use the jukes and stuff like that. If I had better run game, I could bust for touchdowns. Now, right here, you'll see that we are outmatched on the right side with the stretch play, but I'm gonna run it anyway to the wide, the wide side of the field so you guys can see that we could probably still get to the outside and get some yards. So the Z close, the stretch, is one of the stretch plays, one of the rare ones that aren't gonna get cooked. Now, right here, when you see a defense like this, I mean, two six duo all the way, okay? Like I said, this is the play that I would use in the red zone when I was like two yards out, three yards out, I would use it. Against a stacked box like this with a front, you can still push it to the outside and try to go for touchdowns. You will break for touchdowns sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes you're going to break for a touchdown uh, with the 2-6 duo because it's that good. It's rare. Okay, look right here. Bro, get the, pick, the, pick the block up. That was a touchdown, man, but you, you're seeing it right now, the, the potential behind this play. And what's going to happen is once you start running this 2-6 duo, uh, your, your opponent may spread the D-line or he may pinch the D-line. He spreads the D-line, you can stay in 2-6 duo or you can come to the inside zone, which has lead blockers that are pretty good as well. And you guys know anything about the inside zone, it is a very good run play in itself. Okay, so 2-6 duo, inside zone. Uh, you can try to flip the play going to the left, but like I said, you're kind of weak on this left side, okay? But if if you could get away like this right here, I mean, you're gonna get yards, you could possibly get a touchdown. This is gonna be one of those formations where you can score a tutty, son. Easily, easily. Now we can come to the inside zone, flip the stick, Go left with this inside zone, have our blockers attack that side. Almost resembles the zone weak, this inside zone from this formation. So you're looking right here at the Z close, a very powerful run scheme that you can use, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to the best of your ability to, to get yards. And you can always throw different looks. It's not gonna be the same thing all the time. So we can come back to stretch. We could try to go left without motioning anyone over and then just cut up the lane. Now, like I said, stretch isn't as good as it used to be, 
but it's not nerfed in this formation. In some formations, you cannot run stretch to save your life. You just can't do it. Now, right here, it's a, probably a blitz. We still got a couple yards. It's going to be hit or miss. Like I said, your opponent's going to be shifting the D-line, and you're going to be going off what he does, right? So we can come back to the inside zone. We can have our, our lead blockers. We can follow them right on the blocks and get mad yards. And then every, every once in a while, what you can do is you can come over here to uh, the PA cross. So you'll see this cross play right here. It's a decent one. You want to go ahead and just run a clear out, which is X, which is Lazard. You can run the play action, but like I said, you got to be careful with play action. We have A, we have B. If they insta shed or they're heavy blitzing you and they pass commit, you're going to get cooked on that play action. So be careful. This is a safety blitz. I want to see what stretch does against the safety blitz real quick. I'm sorry. I got to see if I can get to the outside. I can't. All right. Yeah. So stretch can't cook the safety blitz for this formation. It was just something I wanted to see. So if they're running a safety blitz and you have Jamar Chase or you have Mike Evans, you max protect and then you send them on a streak and you high aggressive high catch that. I mean, that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory right there. You know what I mean? Right here, still getting forward, falling animation, still getting yards. It's atrocious in this game. Uh, run defense is pretty much very brutal, very hard to overcome. You see me? I fall for three yards. You know what I mean? It makes no sense to me. Why it's so consistent, too. It's so consistent. You know what I mean? Like right there, I should have went to inside zone. I saw the way it was uh, was aligned. My fault. Right here, you probably go to inside zone, follow the lead blockers, come up to the gaps like this. Now, if I get through that, I'm getting mad yards. Okay. And then whenever I'm ready to throw this at my opponent, I come to the LB cross. I run a clear out. Right. And then I can look underneath or I can look at B, whichever one I choose. You know what I mean? Ooh, baby. Let's go. The jukes. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let's look at some of the other plays that are in this formation that you could use. Maybe something that you'll like or something that you see in this video uh, from the iForm Z Close. So we have inside zone. We have wide receiver curl, uh, halfback blast, PAZ dig, which I don't know, man. I, I really wouldn't use those plays, to be honest with you guys. Uh, PASL, which is corner route. So you can actually run a flood concept. So if they're running cover two, right, we run B this way. Well, I don't, I don't know. Let's just see how this corner route is ran. This way, boom. Oh, that's a nice corner route. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Okay, so maybe, maybe. Bro, that is a nice corner route. Look at this corner route. Watch how he breaks. That's the kind of break I'm looking for, son. 100%. You could probably run that against mad defense. Let's just go ahead and see. Now, remember, cover one is outside leverage. So that's going to be the best to use as far as stock defense to try to slow this play down. So PA sell. Uh, let's go cover one. We'll go random cover one like this. We'll run the clear out. Let's just see what Tanya can do. So it's a play action. He cuts pretty hard. You see what I'm saying? Like his his now the cut is actually nerfed. He's not cutting as hard against that cover one son. So it's predetermined. It's one of those. I can't do nothing about it. But he cut pretty hard there, but it's predetermined. Now that is outside leverage. You got to understand that that's how that defense work. It's supposed to do that. So what this means is if we look at Lazard coming from the left to right. You also have to be careful there because the three red hook will predetermine that. Let's see what the three red hook does here. On my left side. Yeah, you see that. Oh, no, actually, he drops down. So inside leverage against that cover one while cover one is running outside leverage and it's stock formation or it's base defense. It, it, it's pretty damn good. And the three red hook is getting bit down, sitting down low. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, that's why I don't like play action a lot, man. 100%. And that's Lazard running that route, which means not too bad. What happens if I run B on a slant, though? B on a slant going this way. Where's the three-rack hook? The three-rack hook actually sits low. And then we have Lazard on the in route. So inside leverage against the cover one. Outside leverage against the cover two man. That's just the way it works. Cover two man's underneath inside. Cover one's over the top outside. So remember that when you're running your schemes, your opponent's consistently playing cover one. That's probably the case, okay? But there it is, man. Hope you guys enjoy it. Use it. Uh, I use it still. It's been very beneficial for me. And stay tuned for the scheme. It's about to drop. Love you guys, man. Peace.